Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial and as you know we are going to be creating an RTX 3090 but before we begin I'd like us to save our work so with Control S I'm going to name my RTX 3090 because that's what we are making and I'd like us to enable an add-on which will help us a bit with the modeling so come over to edit preferences add-ons and in the search bar here just type in F2 and you will find this add-on called mesh f2 so just check that box to activate it save preferences and in my front view i want to add in our reference image so come to image reference and find using whatever folder you saved yours to and just remember the link to the image is in the description for you to download so mine is here where is it okay this is it all right so I want to move the middle part of the GPU here, this middle part, I want to move it to the 3D cursor. So with the image selected, I'll just press G to grab it and move it there. Zoom in a bit to make sure that it's perfectly in the middle. Yeah, I think that's cool. All right, let me hide this in the viewport. So check this box and Check opacity to reduce opacity a bit. So seven to go to top view. I'll press Shift D to duplicate this RX90, and with G and Y, I'm gonna move it backwards to this point. Cool. All right. So let's begin. So Control A. I want to add a plane, and tap to go into edit mode. I'll press M and select merge at center. Pressing E to extrude along the Z, I'll move it to this point and move it again to this point. Move it here. So I want us to align each vertex on the edge of the Y part of this GPU. So that's what we're going to be doing. Don't worry, we're not going to align everything here. We're going to just align it to some point and then use a mirror modifier to make things easier. So let me just extrude that here. Just make sure it's on the edge. Move it upwards a bit. Okay. Move that here. So just follow along with me. And finally, just extrude it down here and end it over here on the red line. That's the X axis line. Just end it there. Okay, so this is when we're going to use the mirror modifier. So let me go to object mode and come to the modifier tab. And in the this blue range icon you see here, just come to add modifier and select mirror. And you can see it has mirrored it across the X axis first. That's perfect. We want that. But we also want it across the Z. So with the X selected, I'm also going to select Z. And that's done that for us. Okay, go back to edit mode and in my front view. I'm going to select this vertex and extrude it over here. Just make sure that it's aligned to this vertex here. Okay, so I'm going to select these and these and select these two and press F to fill that face and let's bring this here okay you can see it's intersecting with itself here because clipping is not enabled and we don't want this so I'll bring this over here and enable clipping on the mirror modifier and let's bring that back and you can see it's perfectly clipped for us here that's nice so I'm gonna select all four vertices here and press F to fill and this is when the F2 add-on comes in for us. So instead of me extruding this vertex here and selecting this one and this one and this one and pressing F to fill, we can just select this 
for its text and moving our mouse cursor here I can just press F and that feels that first perfectly let me go to wireframe mode to see things better so select this come over here F to fill so just keep repeating this and make sure you align each vertex on the edge correctly so just this cool Finally, just bring it here. Let me send this upwards a bit. So GZ, move it upwards. Okay, so let's see how it's looking. It's looking cool. All right, so next I want to add in the subdivision surface. So you can see these corners look too blocky, like a low poly mesh, and we don't want that. So I'm going to add in a subdivision. So come to modifier and select subdivision, and I'm going to give that a level of two so just move that to two and with x to select everything i'll go to top view and extrude it over something like this okay and we don't want these faces so with x i can delete face tap to go to object mode and i would right click and shed smooth these and let me apply scale to this so with ctrl a can apply scale so our beveling will be perfect so back to edit mode two to go to edge selection and let me show you something and uh, on on the actual gpu you can see this part is not as flat as it is here let me quickly show you that here so Okay, so you can see how this part is looking. It has some tight creases running along the edges and we want to replicate that. So with Alt and left click, I can select all the edges going around here. With Shift and Alt and left click, I can select these and finally select this one here. And let's give that a bevel. So Control B to bevel it and let's bring it all the way here. Perfect. Okay. We still don't have those tight creases, but we can just Alt and left click to select all the edges here, these very edges. Alt and left click to select these and finally select this one and give it a bevel again. And you can see it's coming out. Just give it a three segments bevel. Cool. Cool. So I like to add a loop cut here. Just bring that forward. Another one here. Bring it forward. And I'd like to add a last loop cut here. Bring it slightly downward, not too far. Okay, let's see. That's looking cool. You can see we have the same thing we have here in the reference. And that's that's nice. So next I want us to model this part here this part so I'm gonna have to apply the mirror modifier now so hovering over the mirror modifier make sure you're on the mirror and not on the subdivision with your mouse cursor on the mirror modifier just press ctrl a to apply that and tap to go into edit mode and I'll press a twice to select and deselect everything okay so let me select all the edges here with Alt and left click. I'll press Shift D to duplicate that and P and selection to separate that. Go to object mode and let's select the part we just cut out. Okay. Back to edit mode, press X, select everything and F to fill that face. Let's go to top view and in wireframe mode, just move that backwards to this point. Okay. I also don't want this face, so I'm gonna press X and delete that. Let's go to local view with forward slash to see things better. So I'll Alt and left click to select 
all the edges here and give that a bevel a single segment bevel actually to this point because when you look at the part here you can see it's not really flat it's kind of it protrudes so that's what we want to do so okay so let me select this edge too selecting everything here let me scale that out a bit so with s just scale it out and come over here and pressing with left click click into the x scale and bring it down to, to z and type in 1.011 and that gives you exactly what i want okay cool so finally what we want to do is to just add a few loop cuts so with ctrl r i'll send the first loop cut forward another loop cut send it slightly forward not too far over here and the last loop cut send it backwards instead let's see that's looking nice okay so right click and shed smooth that forward slash to go back to normal view and let me bring this out slightly so gy and move that forward a bit cool okay all right so in the next part we want to create this part here the fun and the, the the round the circle so with shift a i can add a circle rx90 and move the origin points right to the center here zoom in a bit to make sure it's perfectly aligned okay and i'll press s to scale that down a bit okay go to edit mode and press f to fill that face and in wireframe mode i'm going to press i to insert the face to this point okay press x and delete face okay with everything selected i'll go to my top view and in wireframe i'll just extrude it to this point nice i don't want this face so x and delete that Okay, so let me select all the edges here with Alt and left click. Select all the edges here and just Control B to bevel that. Okay, just right click and shed smooth. Let me add in a subdivision modifier to it. So select that and I think a level one is okay. Let's come over here and tap to go into edit mode. Just alt and left click any part of it to select all the edges and shift it to duplicate. Just scale down to this point. F to fill and in wireframe mode insert the face here and delete that face okay so to select only these just hover over it and press L and that selects everything go to top view and extrude it all the way here and as always I'm gonna delete this face so X and delete face Okay, you can see in the reference image here, this part is not as straight as what we have here. It's kind of, it seems to be going back a bit. So let me just Alt and select everything here. And with G and Y, I can move that slightly backwards. I think it's okay here. Okay. So what next? Let me select everything here and just reveal that. That's okay. I'm going to select everything here too. Let me move that backwards slightly. So G, G twice and slide that edge backwards. Okay, and you can 
let's add a loop cut bring it forward let's see how it's looking right click and shed smooth let's add another loop cut here send that backwards and it's looking cool it's cool all right and finally we still have another circle in the middle here and that's what we want to do so let's go into edit mode alt and left click any of the edges shift d to duplicate and scale down to this point and press f to fill that and with seven to go to w you can go to wireframe and extrude it also over here okay so x delete face and if you can't really select the last part we just added you can just hover over here and press l to select all the ones here and h to hide that and selecting every, everything here i can just control p and bevel that slightly okay so let me shade smooth that and it's looking cool all right all right all right so in the next part we are going to be creating this fan and these panels you see here so i would like to end this one here for now so in the next part we're going to be creating the fans and this panel so see you in the next video